Now let's talk about an interesting fun fact about our Milky Way galaxy. It is a great question. How big is space? By the way, the data in this video is largely inspired from nasa.gov website. And please take the animations with a grain of salt. They are just for visual and learning purposes only and do not reflect the realities and complexities of this topic. When we talk about the enormity of the cosmos, it's very difficult to wrap our mind about how large, how far, and how big celestial bodies really are. How big is our Milky Way galaxy? And how far away are exoplanets, the planets beyond our solar system? The galaxy we live in is called the Milky Way galaxy. It is a spiral galaxy composed of at least 100 billion stars. It is approximately 100,000 light years across and about 1,000 light years thick. It has a central bulge that is about 10,000 light years in diameter. So what is a light year? First, let's talk about the concept of light time. A light time is a unit of distance and it is the distance light travels within a specific period of time. For example, let's start measuring from our sun. So from the sun, one light second is 186,000 miles or 300,000 kilometers. One light minute is 11,160,000 miles or 18 million kilometers from our sun. From the sun to our planet Earth, it is about 8.3 light minutes, meaning a light beam will take about eight minutes to travel from the sun to our planet Earth. And the distance between the sun to our planet Earth is 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers, and it's also called one astronomical unit. From the sun to the planet Jupiter, it is about 43.2 light minutes, meaning a light beam will take about 43 minutes to travel from the sun to Jupiter. Then from the sun, we can reach one light hour, which is a distance of 671 million miles or 1.08 billion kilometers from our sun. From the sun to Neptune, it is about 4.1 light hours, meaning a light beam will take a little bit more than four hours to travel from the sun to Neptune. And while we are talking about distances in our Milky Way galaxy, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned on what is next. You can check my courses like the Amazon Leadership Principle course for my course related to an introduction about America and a lot more, of course links in the description below. Then from the sun, we will pass by the Kuiper belt and reach the distance of one light day, which is a distance of 16.1 billion miles or 25.9 billion kilometers from our sun. From the sun to the inner wall of the Earth cloud, it is a distance of about 29 light days. Then moving outward from the sun, we will reach the distance of one light year, which is a distance of about 5.8 trillion miles or 9.4 trillion kilometers from our sun. For example, from the sun to the nearest stars and exoplanet is about 4.25 light years away, which is the Proxima Century triple system. Then we will reach a distance of 100 light years, which is a distance of about 588 trillion miles or 946 trillion kilometers from our sun. Then moving outward from the sun, we will reach the amazing and huge distance of 100,000 light years, which is a distance of about 588 quadrillion miles or 946 quadrillion kilometers from our sun. So this is where we can probably reach the Milky Way galaxy, which is a spiral galaxy with an estimated visible diameter of 100,000 light years away from our sun. You can learn more about this at exoplanets.nasa.gov. Now, let's wrap up everything for this time without the talking part. Enjoy and have fun.